Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a little spontaneous shopping vlog today because Bestie and I, <laughs> Bestie's like walking Hi. frantically, we came out to the city. It's my first week of maternity leave and uh, we're gonna pamper ourselves and get <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> And we booked ourselves a nice spa day at the Crown here in Sydney, but we came out a little bit early So we're gonna see if we can just check out a couple of the shops There is a particular wallet and a little bag that I want to check out from Louis Vuitton Which nothing much has been interesting me at Louis Vuitton lately. So yeah, I'm really excited to check them out So we're gonna do that and then we'll go shop around a bit yes. So yes, and then go to oh my gosh, I get really breathless very easily these days. So and anyway, worth walking her. <laughs> so yeah, let's um, see what they have and hopefully we have some eye candies for you. Look at all these beautiful capucines, so many beautiful and unique colors. I am loving all these fresh colors. The colors make these classic bags feel so new. Something about LV trunks, it's just really it's nice. Different. It would be a nice interior design piece. Maybe like just two of them? Or is it a bit too big? Look at this whole table of goodies. I have that, it's called the Scott Box. I just put some, um, some jewelry in there. I like it. These are little coasters. It's a travel bag. It's really nice. I like the little pearl on the side. Yeah, it's really pretty. How cute are these bag charms? They're the tiny versions of their bag sisters. You can probably put some things in them as well. This Alma is just adorable. That's the newish Pochette Matisse East West. phone bag it used to be well priced i remember but i think it's too pricey at 1930 australian dollars now the felici pichette i think is still worth it so we came to check out the brand new wallet called lisa wallet i think this is such a good compact option I really like the zipper pull. It's a little bit bigger than I thought, but I guess if you're gonna fit bills as well, it's a nice size. Four card slots. You can even put coins in there. There's also this beautiful lavender color, which is called Iris. And there's also green. Love this green. I'm not sure if it actually goes with the monogram. No, I think it's a really clever design, very minimalistic. I've also been wanting to try this Speedy in size 20. I think it looks so much nicer on my frame than the size 25 Speedy bandolier that I used to own, which I thought stuck out too much from my body. Not sure if I like the canvas strap though, it kind of looks cool, but also I think it may be making the bag look a little cheap. But I think it just depends on your personal taste. I know there's the new Demia Abin version out, but Australia hasn't got any yet, and the SA couldn't tell me when it is coming. We are always so late to get new stuff. 
I do like how the zipper opens wide and that cherry interior just pops. Next stop, heading into Chanel. We are still on the 23A collection, the Matia Dart, which I usually love the Matia Dart collection as they usually have the really earthy tones and some statement type pieces. This year is no exception. I love all these colors. I'm checking out these phone bags on a chain with the top handle. Not sure how long this style has been around for, but it's the first time I'm seeing this style and I actually really like it. I think the top handle makes these small SLG type bags look really substantial. But the price guys, 5,900 Australian dollars, more than a classic wallet on chains, so I'm not so sure. I still love this green. Just comparing the sizes between the phone holder on a chain and the mini flap with top handle. Much smaller. 14 formats. Oh! If it properly. I mean, like, if all just placed, not too bad. Mm. That's pretty good. Probably can't fit anything else right now. I'm now checking out the actual top handle mini flaps in the current season colors. Those are all current season colors and they're just beautiful. This yellow reminds me of the Hermes John Amber color a lot, which is my favorite mustard yellow of all times. I still think the top handle mini flap is worth purchasing at the current prices. I believe they are over 8,000 Australian dollars though, but that's still much better than double the price for a classic flap and you still get that sort of classic look. Now this seasonal clutch bag really caught my attention. It looks so fun, but I think you can also fit a chain through that top looped area and make it a bag. I actually briefly checked out this clutch a week ago at the Bondi Chanel boutique while running some errands. So I'll insert a few footages from there. This clutch is so spacious. Love the aged calf leather. It really has a vintage vibe to it and well-priced around 7,000 Australian dollars. I like it looks vintage. Mm. It's like crumpled. Crumpled calf skin. Mm. Yeah. The good thing with the crumple is like you don't have to worry because yeah, it's already like show that, up so the scratches. Nothing else is going to happen to it. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Got the even if you got like a little scarf, you won't mm. be able to say compared to like the lamb skin, the lamb the skin which is very um you know. I like how it's even got the back pocket like the classic back. <laughs> yeah. I also saw this fun seasonal bag, but definitely not my cup of tea. We are very quickly gonna go by Dior. Look how unique this jacquard is in the Lady Dior. Must be the new collection. Not sure about these outfits. And here we have a book tote in that similar jacquard pattern and some cushions. I love how they've done this whole display. These are the Lady 9522 bags. I think they look a little old school and priced very high. I think over 10,000 Australian dollars. These are the newish Dior key bags. Kind of reminds me of what my grandma used to carry back in the day. Is it just me? Or are these bags old looking? Then we can see some new colors and variations in the classic bag lines like the Lady Dior, D-Joy, the Settle and the Book Totes.
than to exotic bags, I personally wouldn't invest this much money into a settle bag style, but an exotic lady Dior, this is worth the money. I love this rose gold guilloche with carnelian. Such a perfect color combination. Look how sparkly the guilloche is. I love it more than the yellow gold guilloche. This five motif bracelet is just catching my eye a lot. Also trying the 20 motif necklace. This necklace is very versatile actually. You can simply wear it long like this, which will be suitable for a casual or dressy outfit. Then you can wear it in a Y shape like this, which looks really elegant. double the chain up to wear it as a choker. I think this will look fantastic with a button-up shirt. This 20 motif necklace is priced at 33,800 Australian dollars, which I'm currently not in the market for that sort of a price point, but I would definitely consider this in the future when our priorities change. You know, each motif, I'm not talking about even 20, just a single motif like this, mm. right? It, it takes like 15 steps to create. Mm. Oh. Everything's handmade in Paris yeah. workshop. Yeah. Um, every single like a lumber piece takes 15 steps to mm. make it. Right. So because the detail, we hand select a stone, make sure it's the best one. Yeah. We have, like this 20, you have to really match the Canadian color. Mm. You can't have, because they're na so, natural stone. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't you have, have one dark one. Like, <laughs> we yeah. try our best to match, to make yeah, it more for consistent. The one. Mm. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's hard. We'll still see when it's slightly darker, but mm. that's the, you know, the that's beauty natural. of it. Like, yeah. yeah. And also the side, the bead we hand polish, mm. we hand select, we hand set the stone as well. Yeah. So each bead, even the train, like a lot of people say, Van Cleef train is so shiny because mm. we hand polish the train. Look at the trains, even trains very shiny. Mm. There is a lot of details chains. to it. Yeah. Yes. So people always like often say, oh, 15 steps to make one piece. They don't mm. believe, but mm. if we think about it, it is 15 yeah. steps. We kind of have to set it, we have mm. to select, we cut a stone, we mm. set it on the thing. We hand polish the bead on the side as well. Mm. Okay. And everything's handmade, we don't do mass production mm. like a lot of brand does. Mm. And if you're talking about other brands, yes, they, because to keep up the production, yes. they have to do mass production. They have to. Yeah. So a lot of things yeah. are machine made, but yeah. back if we still keep this tradition, we handmade everything. Mm. Mm. That's why a lot of things you have to expect. That's why order. clients sometimes mm. mad at us, say, okay, how come I order one piece, it takes one year. So but we do want handmade or not? <laughs> you know, you do that's want that right. kind of speciality. Right. Yeah, it's a story piece of art. You appreciate it. It is. Yeah. Definitely. So, like this, like this is a piece of art. Mm. It's very pretty. Oh, wow. So this is the original box. Oh, wow. So put it in. Yeah. So you can kind oh, wow. of manipulate Sorry. this and yeah. you can put it in. So yeah. Put it in like this. Oh. So that they don't like hit yeah, against right. each other. Exactly. Yeah. And when you travel, you can still do it. It's actually yeah. Big, really but nice. it's flat, so you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Mm. And so. when you don't wear it, you put it back. Yeah, mm. so yeah. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah. it's mm. very nice. Very That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love this. Then we also looked at the Perle collection. This slim bangle with the diamonds in the middle is a good alternative to a traditional diamond tennis bracelet if you want something a little different. I really like it. This is still Perle collection. Perle collection, mm. yes. Yeah. It's actually the most one of the most classic pieces. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's the signature, yeah, that's more yeah. kind of relatively simple. Mm. Got a new yeah. polo watch, it's quite cute as well. Mm. Mm. 
Why is it thinner one than the next one? Is because it's a smaller one? size, so it fits better. Mm. But the size, the I other one was once, large. Once you give birth, you will probably just be a size small. Anyway, this brings us to the end of this shopping vlog. I hope you enjoyed all the eye candies. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye, guys.